In this video of mine, I took one spoon of blue dye into a big bowl and then one spoon of water from this bowl into this. Now this solution here is composed of one blue dye and one water and I asked for the percentage of blue dye in this solution which is actually equals to 50% because blue dye is half of the total solution. Then I took one more spoon of water so the water spoon became two and then I asked for the percentage of blue dye then I added two more spoons of water okay and I and now the water are four. For these three stages I asked for the percentage of blue dye in the solution. Initially it was 50% because blue dye was half of the solution. Now here the fraction of blue dye was actually one third because we had one blue dye and two spoons of water. So in total three spoons and blue dye is one of them. So the fraction is one third and which is giving us percentage as 33.3% .3 where three is recurring. And in the third question where we had one blue dye and four water. So the total spoons of liquid are five and the fraction of blue dye is one fifth. And therefore the percentage of blue dye in the solution is 20% as you know that one fifth corresponds to 20%. You can even calculate it. Okay. Then what did I do next? Just see carefully. Here in the next step, um, next step, I took a small mini bowl and in the mini bowl I took one spoon of this solution and one spoon of water. Okay, just, just let's see. So one spoon of this and one spoon of this. So in total I have two spoons. Okay, in total I have two spoons. And I have to find out the percentage of dye in this. Okay, the percentage of dye in this was 20%. But now the percentage of dye has been decreased. Okay, no, the solution is going to be lighter. No, the dye is dark here. It is going to be light here because we added more water. No, and actually we have to find out the percentage of dye in this solution. Before I do this sum, let's have a, let's, let's understand something. See, suppose we have a red dye in some solution, uh, means red dye and water. Okay, and suppose uh, the red dye is, uh, let's say, red dye is 40%. Okay. And water is 60%. So this, and suppose this was made in a huge bucket. Okay. So you can say that uh, um, there was 40 liters of red dye and 60 liters of water. Okay. That's my, the to that's why the total solution was 140% was red and 60% was water. Now I took some of the solution into this test tube, some in this and some in this. So what is dye in this? What's the what's the dye percentage of dye in this? What's the percentage of dye in this and what's the percentage of dye? It will remain 40%. Here also 40%, here also 40%, here also 40%. See, we pour the solution into this from the big bucket. Okay, so um, this solution also have some water, some dye, this also, this also. And is the composition different? No, the, it, it is. The dye is 40%. Here the total solution is 250. So the, how much is dye? It's actually 40% of 250. And if you'll calculate it, you know, um, 25 into 10 is... 250 and 25 into 4 is 100 and 4 into 10 is 40 which is equals to 100. Okay, that means the, in this solution of 250 ml, 100 ml is the dye, okay, and 150 ml is the water. Similarly here, 
the composition is 40 percent but the dye is 40 percent of 100 this here it is 100 ml the total solution is 100 ml and how much is dye dye is again 40 percent of 100 ml here also this is the solution is 60 here how much is dye 40 percent of 60 okay and 40 percent of 60 is 24 so 24 ml is the dye and rest is the rest is your rest is your water okay so in fact if you take out a drop of a drop from here from here to here so this is not going to be pure water or pure dye okay it's it's the same drop so how much dye is gonna be 40 percent of the volume stored in this drop and 60 percent of the volume stored in this drop is actually the water so the composition composition never changes okay so now let's come back here so here what did we do here we have two spoons of water okay two spoons in two spoons of water one was from here and one was from here so one spoon was pure water okay and one was from here so it was not pure water what was the composition of this see this solution is actually this one this one no which has 20 percent blue dye and 80 percent water so how much is the how much is the dye in this one spoon same 20 percent dye and 80 percent water okay so out of the two spoons how much is dye only this portion 20 percent of one spoon and if you calculate 20 percent of one you'll actually get 0.2 okay this is actually 0.2 so out of two spoons 0.2 spoon is actually the dye okay and that is equals to 2 over 20 when you will sort it up and you can easily come over to 10 percent so your next so your one question that's what's the percentage of dye in this is this is your 10 percent okay so this is your first question this is your second the hair is third and here this is your fourth one fourth question okay now what what am i doing Let, let's look at my fifth question we'll be sorting let's let's make it with some different color now so so fifth question let's see what what is my fifth question let's see what am i doing here so in the mini bowl here i am i'm adding one spoon of water you can see that i've added one spoon of water and i'm asking for the percentage of dye in this okay so right firstly there were two spoons of two total spoons in this and then i added one more spoon of water so one spoon was from here and then i actually after adding one more spoon of water i have two spoons of water okay two spoons of water and one sp one spoon of this solution here which which is here okay and what's the what's the what's the dye in that that's remained the same it's only 0.2 spoon no so fifth question we have three spoons and out of those 0.2 is your 0.2 is your uh, 0.2 spoon is your dye which makes this 2 over 30 okay and when you will sort it up 2 over 30 when it is sorted it will come out to be 6.6% okay when you'll convert this into percentage you all know how to convert anything into percentage so the percentage is this okay um, let's let's see what am I doing next here so in the next what am I going to do so oh I pour this into this okay now first we must know how much solution is there in this okay so if you see um, if you if you remember this was this solution from where one spoon was already taken up so out of 
there were initially 1 and 4, 5 ml. So in the sixth question, when we'll do the sixth question, in the big bowl, okay, there were, there were, instead of 5, there were 4 ml. There was 4 ml, okay. And from the small bowl, how much I, from the small bowl, there were, there were 3, not ml, there were 3 spoons in the small bowl. So total solution in the big bowl for this last question is 7, okay. There are 7 spoons. So how much is dye in this, okay? What is the dye in this? If we see carefully, all the dye which we have taken is in this only. No, from from the starting of the video, the we did not throw we did not throw dye anywhere. So dye is here, and how much dye did dye did we add? It was one ml. Okay, so you can simply say that the that out of seven. Only one spoon is the dye and when you will sort it up, your answer is going to come to be 14.285714 and this, this part is recurring here, okay, till here. So, this is the percentage, okay. Um, there is also one more way to sort it up, to look at this, okay. Uh, and what is that? Let's see. See, uh, let me clean up some area here. Okay. See, I had here seven part seven four which were initially in the big bowl and three which were in the small bowl. Now we have to find out percentage of dye. Now these four this four spoons which were already in the big bowl okay how much dye it had it was a 20 percent solution so what was the dye out of four spoons the dye is gonna be 20 percent of four okay and in this three bowls okay in this in uh, sorry in three spoons there were three spoons in the mini bowl. Okay, what was the um, what was the uh, fraction of this? You can see this is the fraction. You can pick up this fraction also. You can pick up this percentage also. No, so the fraction of uh, fraction of or the percentage of the um, blue dye in these uh, three spoons in the mini bowl. What was the thing? So you can say uh, it was actually 6.66% uh, of 3, okay, 6.66% of 3 or you can say 2 over 30 of 3 or you can say 0.2 over 3 of 3 or you can simply say it was only 0.2, okay, uh, and when you will sort it up 20% of uh, 4 will come out to be 4 over 5. And this is your 2 over 10 whole raised whole upon 7. And when you'll sort it up here, this is gonna be um, it's gonna be 8 plus 2 over 10 over 7. And when you'll sort this portion up, it's gonna be 1 over. Seven. So this is the fraction of the dye in the in the case of sixth solution, okay, which is similar to this. So uh, this is also an interesting thing to know about, okay. When we means how to find out percentage of two different solutions, okay. Uh, we can discuss uh, one more example. Suppose there are there are two solutions, okay. This has ten percent dye. And this solution has 30% dye. Okay. And in a new bowl, if we take one spoon of this and one spoon of this, what's going to be the composition of dye now? Okay. So we are taking two spoons. How much dye are we getting from here? 10% of one. Okay. If you, if you solve 10% of one, you'll get to know that it is 0.1. So 0.1. 
and in the other spoon which has been taken from here what's the percentage of dye the percentage of dye is 30 percent of one spoon okay and 30 percent of one spoon if we'll sort it up you'll get to know it's 0.3 so actually it is gonna be 0 0.4 spoons in two spoons which is 4 over 20 which is 1 over 5 which is actually equals to uh, 20% that means if we add one spoon of 10% solution and uh, one spoon of 30% solution then basically uh, then basically the percentage of solution in a new mixture percentage of dye in the new mixture is gonna be 20% okay uh, now you have to think if I add my first question now if I add two spoons of this and three spoons of this or three spoons of this and five spoons of this third question four spoons of this and three spoons of this so what's gonna be the percentage of dye in these three different new mixture just try out these sums 